This is Jacket TV. Good morning, Jackets. I'm Karina. And I'm Paige. And this is Jacket TV. RHS Student Council is hosting a pumpkin decorating contest for the rest of the week. Decorated pumpkins will be on display in the RHS cafeteria during all lunches. The goal of the contest is to raise money to provide Thanksgiving meals for families that are less fortunate. Students will be asked to vote for their favorite pumpkin by donating money to the pumpkin they think is best. Orchestra will be having their annual concert tomorrow, Thursday, October 30th. If you are interested in attending the concert, it will be held at the Rockwell Performing Arts Center at Utley Middle School from 7 to 9 p.m. RHS is collecting box tops for education and Campbell soup labels for Doris Collins Lake Point Elementary. We are also collecting any Coke product points. Examples are Sprite, Powerade, Minute Maid, etc. Lids, packaging, cartons, everything. To give to charities such as Special Olympics, St. Jude's Hospital, and the Boys and Girls Club of America. You can send all of these items to room 2711. The ASL Club will be having a fundraiser. Vote for your favorite or least favorite teacher. Put a dollar in the box for that teacher. The teacher with the most votes gets a pie in the face at the pep rally in front of the whole student body on November 7th. The boxes are located in room 2504. Stop by at any time to cast your vote. Thanks for supporting the ASL Club. Spotlight Productions will be performing Sweeney Todd this Friday and Saturday, October 31st and November 1st at the Main Stage Theater here at RHS. Both shows start at 7.30 and the tickets are $10 for students and $15 for adults. Tickets will be sold at the door, but they are also available online at the theater Facebook page. At intermission of each show, our culinary arts department will be selling the best pies in Rockwall. There will be a mandatory NTHS meeting on Thursday morning at 8.15 a.m. in Ms. Webb's room. If you absolutely cannot attend, you need to see Ms. Webb on Thursday. Have you ever been interested in how movies are written and how they translate on screen? Are you a fan of Steven Spielberg, Quentin Tarantino, or Martin Scorsese? Do you want to learn how to transfer story ideas into something that can be filmed? Well, join the Screenwriting Club today in Ms. White's room, 2617. Contact Ms. White or Alex Schultz for details. The RHS football team will be having a game Friday at Tyler Lee. The game starts at 7.30, so come out and show your Jacket Nation spirit. This Friday, the RHS tennis team will be competing in the regional, regional Tennis Tour. This event will start at 8 a.m. Congratulations to the District 11 6A champion Yellow Jackets volleyball team. Freshman G B team finished their undefeated district season with a gutsy win over Rowlett. Freshman A breezed past Damon Forrest. The freshman A team also finished undefeated 12-0 in district play. JV beat the Rangers, finishing the district season 22-1 and earning a co-championship with Saxe. The Varsity Yellow Jackets clinched up their first district championship since 2005, defeating Neiman Forest in straight sets. Congratulations to Coach Ferguson and Coach Williams and our Yellow Jacket Volleyball program. The Jackets will begin their postseason championship campaign next Tuesday against Properis Cove at Course. Corsicana High School at 7 o'clock. <laughs> There's a mandatory meeting for all girls soccer players interested in trying out for soccer and their parents on November 19th at 6 p.m. at RHS. If your parents cannot attend, please get in touch with Coach, Coach Garcia in room 2612 as soon as possible. The Rockwell Men's Varsity Golf t Teams competed in the Lake Highlands Invitational Tuesday, October 28th at Firewall Garf, the Firewall Golf Course. The tournament was 27, a 27-hole 27 competition with a par of 107. The Jacket golfers dominated the competition, taking home the team and individuals first and third places. The team was led by Adam House, who finished, finished first overall with a five under par, and Daniel Gibbs, who finished with a third overall and a one under par. Congratulations, guys. Are you, ready, you ready to dunk your teachers and administrators? Well, wait no longer. Sports and Charity will combine as Rockwell students and faculty members face off in our first annual Students vs. Faculty Charity Basketball Game on November 12th. Our very own Dr. Gober will referee the game, but we need some awesome students to participate. We need both boys and girls in 9th through 12th grade. If you'd like to be a part of the student basketball team, 
please sign up in the Counseling Center by this Friday, October 31st. Mm -hmm. Attention students, Friday is the last day to purchase your 2014-2015 yearbook at the low price of $65. Seniors, senior ads for the yearbook are also due on Friday. Please see Ms. Applegate in room 3606 for more information. On this day in history, in 1682, William Penn landed in what is now Chester, Pennsylvania. Hmm. Little fact. That's all we have for today. I'm Karina. And I'm Paige. This has been Jacket TV. Have a great day, Rockwall.